<laughs> 14 for the whole lot. It's 13.50 a second ago. It'll be 17 in a minute. Yeah, it will be, yeah. It's just gone up again, isn't it? That actually hurt me even trying to do it. How much is your top, mate? Hillside car boot, let's be having you. Oh, I've gone down that f***ing road. Glad that wasn't electrical. Oh! How much are your bits in here, mate? Uh, pound each. A box for three quid. I think I'll take the box, it saves me. Uh... You keep the box, though. Right, you might be able to find some use for that. You got any computer games or anything? Not computer games, just DVDs. And just DVDs. And CDs, really. right, one. Oh, sorry, two. That's okay, take 305. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Hello. How much is your game? Six. Hello, mate. Good, good. It's a bit dead today. Nearly got it. Nearly. Same as me, mate. I always think I get them. You don't. Well, that's kind of original why I bought this, and I realised. What the f is that? It's my language. It goes on your belly. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Supposed to tone your muscles. Yeah. You think you need muscles there first so, to do so that? So the missus looked at me and went, you got some bit on the side? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just trying to be less fat. What is this? Oh, this, these are little monsters high sets. They open out. So oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then... Sorry, mate. No, no, you're right. How do you know it's incomplete then? What's the difference? Obviously, there's bits for it, isn't because there? Because I bought this as like a feeder set to oh, okay. complete this one, if that makes sense. How much are they? Uh, five pounds for the pair. I think I have to for that one, yeah. Yeah, I Yeah, fair. Can you do me a favour? Can you whack it in there while I get you some money out? Is yeah, that alright? Don't worry about um Don't worry about breaking anything in there. Can you break a 20 or not? Uh 10. Can you break a 10? Yeah, shouldn't yeah, should. Sorry mate. No problem. You take that one. Morning Woodus. Oh shit, sorry mate. No, 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 no. I actually had the um look, yeah. the thing for that. Oh what are they? They oh I thought that was some else then. What are they? Oh they're pin badges, isn't they? Yeah, I mean I had the um all the the folders and uh, Oh yeah yeah all the little cars and trucks and bikes at one stage or another. How and much are they? Nice. Quite fun, isn't they? They're quite fun. You got some lot like, hidden bits, didn't you? Yeah, I tried spreading it out as much as I could. That, that box there has got loads of little toys and stuff as well. They're three foot quick. Oh, yeah. I just, I just, I'm not interested in that. I just want to get rid of it. No, that's fair enough. Can't see who makes that. Chap me. Always chap me. Would you do four quid for these, for the lot? Yeah. Take I think them. I'll do that, yeah. Take them, mate. Bash on that. There you have your change back, can't you? <laughs> um, one, that was handy. two. <laughs> but you can have that as well. There you go. <laughs> have a bit extra. Well, I think that's it. I'm sure I'm going to walk away and there's going to be more stuff for me. Right, I massively appreciate that, mate, anyway. I've left a few bits out for them to rummage through. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Sorry, mate. I think you actually pulled me. I think you pulled your leg more Sorry, man. Yeah, I do apologise. My legs are right. That's my football kit, lady. What are these from, mate? They're Star Wars figures, originals. Originals? Yeah, 1980. What does that mean, old? They're quite old, they're about, they're about 40 years old. Oh, how much are they? I went for four for that one and three for that one. That's an, a newer one, that's a, uh, what's the name of the film? Oh, I've got no Rogue idea. One, Rogue One, that one is. You beat And you. that's a He Man toy. Oh, okay. And how much is that? That one for 354. It's a horse. I don't know what that's worth. It's 1983, it's written on the side of it. So yeah. Oh, on that skirt, right? I bet you've got to sort of know your stuff, haven't you, with that kind of stuff? I don't yeah. really know one by one. What did you say the prices were, sorry? Three? 350 for that, 250 for that, three, four. What's this? And that's 150. That's what? an 18 toy. Who is it? Oh, 18? Five, but it's one of the bad toys. They did the packs of four. Would you, would you do eight quid for oh. these? Which ones are you thinking? For these four? 
though it's no no at least a tenner a tenner I'll be taking a gamble if I'm honest. I don't really know. Obviously, you know your stuff, didn't you? I, don't, I, don't. I haven't got a clue. Um, How much is the ruler? Three. Three pounds for that. Three. Is that scale rule? What about ten for all that? Ten Apart from this? No, I wouldn't do that. No. Twelve. So I think twelve's knocking a pound off your original oh, price there. Three. I think, I think you said you'll do me 10 for these and then three for that. What about 12? I'll do 10 for those four. Yeah, and then... I, I want 3.50. So, 3.50. What about 13 then? Happy with that? Yes. <laughs> you want no? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, it's, I think it's 50p off, isn't it? 14. I'll do 14. It's 13 50 a second ago. <laughs> I'll do 14 for the whole lot. It'll be 17 in a minute. You know? Yeah, it will be, yeah. It's just, it's just, gone, back, it's just gone up again, isn't it? 13 and we'll go from there 1350 i mean no 14. it's 14. because that could be worth a fiver mm. all right we'll go 14. 14. Yep. yeah are you taking one two three four or five yeah please yeah yeah we'll go 14. Yep. Shopping. That's all right, don't you worry. The man's got to get his money. <laughs> yeah. I understand. His idea is to get it for the most, and my idea is to get it for the less. Yes, yes. That's what I'm that was a it was a nice battle. Right. One, yes. two, three, four, five. I'm taking a bit of a gamble on them. I don't really know what they are. Yeah. Massively, no, yeah. And what are these in here, mate? What are they selling in that package? What's in it? Oh, they're Barbie toys. Oh, are they? You've got £2. Shark, have you? I've got it, I've got it. Oh, you want it? You either want it or you don't want no, it. Don't. <laughs> Here we go. Right. Two, three, four, five, six. Lovely, I appreciate that, mate. Thank you. Thanks for the battle. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, it's almost there. Thank you. That was hard work, that was. What was that? That was a pain. That actually hurt me even trying to do it. Oh well, we figured it out in the end. Paid 50p more than his original price because he kept on going up. If I could have said that any longer, it'd have been 50 quid for the lot. Oh well, just the rules of the gamble, innit? <laughs> it's not a very big one today, it's quite small, actually. Here is, look, yeah, I reckon. Quite chaps, you all right? Hey, I'll do some packing boxes. I'd love to, but um, I don't think I've got room in the garage. Oh, you're a nightmare. I know you've got time. Well, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to buy some stuff. How many is it? Oh, what size are they? Oh, they're actually quite good ones, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Good you, <clears throat> I appreciate that, boys. What you got? What you got coming out today? Hey, nothing. Well, okay, I've got general stuff. I've got mate in there sorting out some some other car boot deals. <sighs> Merry Christmas indeed. <clears throat> you, you got any socials or anything that you want to plug in? No, 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 no just, 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 just a watcher. Not, not, not at the minute. No. Well, I appreciate that, mate. Anyway, I hope no, you sell loads right. of stuff today. Cheers, mate. How much is your top, mate? It's 20. 20 squidder. Yeah. Small, small, small. I'd have bought that for myself if it was bigger. Okay. Three boxes. Go on, boy. I've got to carry them around now. That's a pain, isn't it? Can I have a look at that picture down there? Is this your stuff? Like Which that, picture is this? This this lovely lady here. Uh, yeah, I might actually go and wander this back into the car. Actually, put this in the boot. Whoa, that was a roller coaster, wasn't it? How much is this kit here? Who am I talking to? Sorry, I wouldn't even look up. I should have, should have, checked, to, should have checked to see if you're talking first. Yeah, it's old. I think about that sort of time. Oh, you're two quid. I'm not going anywhere. Not yet, anyway. There you go. I've just pulled that out. I've two and a penny. <laughs> Thank you. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to go back to the car now because that car boot is finished with. So one thing that I do not want to do on these videos is waste your time. And the reason why I show you my pickups is so that maybe you can be inspired to pick something like this up as well. Pick up as well. I didn't roll off the tongue very well, did it? 
Long-term viewers will know that I will pick up anything if it has a profit and it's got a quick turnaround. So that means one dad could be picking up vintage toys, the next dad could be picking up toasters and microwaves. But I've learned a lot from watching other YouTubers and hopefully you can. I said I'm not going to waste any time. Now, I haven't seen the footage yet, so I've got to do this from memory. I picked up two of these Ever After High dolls. They, they say Briar Beauty. Now, I don't know about Monsters High, but what I do know is they sell when there's a market. And when I was offered these play sets, this one here says incomplete. I don't know if it says what's incomplete on it or not. But you've got the dolls in the front and you open them up and it comes out into like a play set. Five pound for the pair. So you can see my thinking there. Two dolls, it's got that two pound fifty each. I'm not gonna lose money. A little bit of research. It looks like some of them are selling for around about eighteen to forty pound, depending. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research, see what dolls what, and go from there. But for two pounds fifty a pop, come on. This was a lovely find. You might have seen that I picked up one of these recently, but this one is a little bit more special. It is a thermos set, but this one has a really big lunchbox in. A great condition as well. Tartan carry bag and a lovely tartan flask. Look at that, in immaculate condition. A little bit, I say immaculate condition, like a little bit of a dent just on one side, but barely any to no chips, dings, nothing like that. 1973 date on the bottom there. Really, really nice piece. That was two pound. I've seen solds of the double bottle version for 50 pounds. I think it's like 70 dollars or something. But for two pound, again, my theory there is Top brand, top make, great condition, low value, high demand, we'll buy it. I picked up a bundle of Transformers and I think it was, I think it was a pound each or five pound for the box or something he said. Anyway, I ended up buying the whole box. There was loads of these little mini modern ones, 2011, there's a set there, so there's a set of five. So they will just go as a nice little bundle and I'll get my money back and a little bit of profit on them. And there were some more modern ones here. I don't think there's much call for them. I haven't researched them yet. This one I've not seen before, to be fair. So I don't know, but they are, they are modern ones. And this. But the reason why I bought them was these. I spotted these straight away. These are G1 Transformers. So you've got Broadside. And this one's name was... I can't remember. Let me have a look. Ultra Magnus. There you go. I think he does also come with a big trailer but this one hasn't but people have been selling the ones without the trailer for like 25 to 30 quid on quick research there is a few guys that when i do my videos i underestimate the value because i haven't done proper research yet i've done a quick little research haven't worked out if that was undersold or oversold whatever else and you're quick to message me going yeah i'll pay the 20 for that and then when you message me i'm like yeah but bro i've recently found out it's actually worth 200 quid so the 20 is not happening and then they get upset so bear in mind, I don't do full research on these. I do rough research just to, just to make sure that this, my spend was okay. From the same guy, I picked up these trucks, maxi cars. I think it was the same guy. I picked up these Atlas Editions badge collector's pieces. I think you're supposed to buy them monthly in a magazine or weekly. And every time you, find, every time you get one, just punch it through. And then you've got your collection going on. So we've got this one here for trucks. Almost complete. It's not, it's not that anybody's bought any, there's no holes in there, so just they just haven't got it yet. So the trucks is almost complete. Motorbikes again, just one down. But the dream cars, there's loads down on there. Loads down on there. But I paid five pound for the lot. I think he wanted two pound a book. I offered him five pound for more. He said, okay. Or did I offer him four pound? I don't know, you've seen the footage before me. I've had a nap since then. And this deal absolutely battered me. It battered me. I just, I just don't know what happened. Well, I do know what happened. The geezer wasn't really wanting to move on his prices. And I could tell that he'd researched what they were because he'd wrapped them all up and stuff. He's probably just like got rid of his doubles and things like that and changed over his um, ratty ones for good ones. So I was suspicious of him anyway. But I don't know what I'm looking at. When it comes to these sort of vintage toys, I know some of them are worth pennies, some of them are worth pounds, some of them are worth hundreds and all in between. So I could see that this one had decals missing. I didn't know if there's anything else missing, but this is a 1983 Masters of the Universe horse, um, Night Stalker. 1983 Star Wars, can't remember her name. Again, Star Wars Wookiee, 1984 or five, something like that, from 18. What's his name? Viper. Now, 
the prices were like three fifty, four pound, two pound, four pound, or whatever it was, something like that. So I think that was three pounds fifty. So this is a ruler. I picked up a ruler as well. It's quite a nice one to be fair. Um, so vintage slide rule. I need to look into the make and stuff and see what's going on with it. But I think it was three pounds fifty for that. Three fifty for that. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, something like that. And I was quite open with him. I said, I don't know what I'm looking at, mate. I just I just know that they're old and there might be something in it. I was already suspicious of them anyway. So I tried haggling him down, haggling him down, haggling him down. So from 16 or 15, whatever it was, we got to 13.50. And I went, cool. And then he went, so you want that, 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 that? And I went, yeah, he went, cool, 14. I was like, but it was 13.50 a second ago. I paid the 14. Oh, I couldn't be bothered for 50p. I just wanted to win the battle. But... Also, knowing full well that I was taking a risk, I don't know if I'm spending money on market value stuff. I know I wasn't like gonna completely battle. I knew the fourteen pound wasn't just up, up in smoke on fire, but I was obviously suspicious, thinking it's probably market value with the way he was behaving with his prices and things like that. He was thinking about no, I can't. Mm -mm. So yeah, I paid fourteen quid, I think, for all of that. But I'll get that back on the ruler, hopefully. Oh, and I also got a ton of these Logitech boxes. Really, really nice size as well. From the chap who watches the channel. I'm sorry, dude. I can't remember your name. I don't think I've even asked you your name, to be honest. And I probably wouldn't remember anyway. But Logitech, not that I care about the brand. Just really good boxes. So I really appreciate that, mate. Thank you so much. Lifesaver. I said I didn't have any room in the garage, but I think I'll be able to squeeze those in. And that was Alton Car Boot. Did you go to a car boot sale this week? If you did, let me know what you picked up in the comments down below and I'll see you on the next one. Ta -da.